All right, Jeff Bland, and I'd like to share with you a thought that follows on the series of uh, little video blogs that I've done previously on my Aura Ring. Now, I need to say here a caveat, um, a disclaimer. I have no relationship to the Aura Ring company. This is not an endorsement or a promotion other than to talk a little bit about a recent article that just appeared in the New York Times or that was picked up by syndicated um, newspapers around the country. And it's written by um, Brian Chin, and it's entitled Aura Ring Review, A Missed Opportunity for Wearable Tech. And it's a fairly uh, critical, and I would call dismissive article as it relates to the value of this biometric tool that really talks more than just specifically this technology in this one device, but about the whole nature of biometric measurements. It's very critical. It basically says these are not accurate, that this uh, doesn't provide useful data, that it's very confusing, it's um, very vulnerable to artifacts. So, you know, he speaks specifically to the fact that he rode on a motorcycle, and then later looking at his data on his step count, he found that his aura ring had recorded that he'd taken thousands of steps because the motorcycle was vibrating and it created the illusion it was steps when it wasn't really steps. And so this was really negating the whole value proposition as to why one would wear one of these biometric tools. I want to say that this is absolutely wrong <laughs> because I have been studying collaboratively the value proposition from these biometric tools as recently as just last month when I had an infrequent cold, actually the first uh, one I've had in a couple of years, in which I'd followed pre-symptomatic my cold, my biometrics from my aura ring were already starting to change. My sleep was disturbed, my respiration went up, my body temperature went up, my heart rate variability went down. All of these were presaging then the, um, the cold that I then experienced over the next uh, several days. And I could actually see how my body was actually uh, mobilizing my immune system, was taking a lot of my energy to activate my immune system. And my overall readiness score went from, uh, it averages in the high 80s, down to 40. And um, it was showing how much of my energy was being sucked into mobilization of my immune system. And then over the course of the next couple of days, so over a, this is now a five to six day period, I saw a resolution as my immune system kicked in. I got my uh, first uh, an innate immune system, then my adaptive immune system, and then finally resolution of inflammation, and my score came back up to a 92, my readiness score. So the construct that there is no valuable information from these tools is totally wrong. What we need is education about how to interpret these, uh, this information so it becomes more useful and more motivating for positive behavior change so that people really understand the, uh, the tremendous um, learning opportunity that exists in these tools. And so as we add more you know, in kind of analytics into these tools, now we have uh, aspects of heart rhythm, now we have as aspects of uh, blood oxygen saturation, um, more and more things. Well, eventually we're going to have blood glucose continuous monitoring. Eventually we're going to have non-invasive measurements of uh, blood pressure in real time, continuous blood pressure. All of these will become part of our running record of our physiology that as we use these tools, we're not just become a, buying, a biohacker weirdo, we're actually becoming informed as to how to orchestrate our life in a very positive way by taking charge of how our body is responding to its environment. So to me, this article was misleading. It didn't lead to any really positive outcome other than kind of uh, techno nihilism. And it did not alert us to the fact that we are going to become the most well-informed society that's ever existed of humans about our health and how to monitor it and manage it individually and personally in which personalized lifestyle intervention becomes the topic of all of our future uh, activities. So that's my thoughts.